Is this how you just start, start the show? We're going to start it like the Muppets, dude. Oh, Come on great. now. You yeah. don't know the Muppets? No, I do know the Muppets. I love that. Yeah, I love the Muppets. Who, who's your favorite Muppet? Manamana. Kermit the Frog. Oh, I always liked Beaker. I don't know why. <laughs> but like, <laughs> he would something, be a Beaker something guy. about Beaker just stood out to me. And dude, the, I loved him. Yeah. That's like my one impression I can do is Kermit the Frog. <laughs> hey, yo, Kermit the Frog here. I, I really and, can't do uh, any impressions, so. No, that's I'll, my I'll, one impression. I'll leave those to you, yeah. Well, welcome to Basement Birds, uh, yeah. episode number 14, 11, that sounds right. 12. I'm pretty ish. sure it's 14. I don't know. 14? Uh, that was just a guess. I don't pre- know that pretty for sure. sure it's 14. But welcome to Off the Rails already. We should just call this Off the Rails because every yeah. week it's Off the Rails. But it's um, been an oh, interesting it's, week it's this week. It's episode 13, Logan. Uh, lucky so number 13. Close. Lucky number 13. Let's do it. We're back. Yeah. For episode number 13, we've had a crazy week. Both of us have been through some uh, interesting circumstances this past calendar yeah. week. Yeah, that's just like normal for you, but... Uh, yeah, as we yeah. discussed, my whole life is basically like a reality show. Yeah, um, that's what it feels if, like. Well, if you follow us on Instagram and or TikTok at Basement Birds, you were treated to a uh, guest appearance by my <laughs> father... Uh, this past week, because uh, he did, he pulled another um, dadism. Yeah, we're gonna call it a dadism this past that's, week. That's accurate. Yeah, he uh, he done messed up. A eh, Ron, he so here's what happened. Here's the here's the skinny. All right, the skinny. We were uh, I had stopped by over there um, last uh, Wednesday. It was Wednesday last Wednesday. Okay. okay. Um. And uh, I was going. I was coming home from training, so I was driving right by. I was like, "Oh, you know what? We'll go. I'll go meet them for dinner." The old yeah. parents stop and, and say hello. Uh, absolutely, grace them with my presence, as yeah. I most certainly do on many occasions. <laughs> and so <laughs> we go to this taco joint. So my dad and I go to this okay. taco joint, this local eatery. I don't know if you've mm. been there. Um, in, what was in, the place we went to that? Uh, on like that one corner, that smaller place. Oh, that was the Euro place. Nikki's. That think, was probably yeah, Nikki's. Yeah, that was Nikki's. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not not but a this taco is, place, but. This is not, a, no. Uh, but there was a taco place we went to. Okay. Uh, you know, local establishment. Great tacos. The gotta yeah. love it. Um, we get to the taco place. We drove in one car, obviously. We drove in his car, my dad's yeah. car, Mike's car. Uh, Malibu, and so we uh, <laughs> we I am, get into the parking I am lot. Really glad we got all those details on the vehicle that was driven. We there. Uh, get into the parking lot, open the, open the car. We get out. I mean, we're having a, a, an in depth conversation, you know. And sure. as you can see, uh, I come from a family who gets really into what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Yes. So when we, yeah. We start talking. Oh. It's like a train starts moving. Yeah. You know? And it there's is, no stop. It's not it's, stopping. There's no stopping them. That chugga, train chugga, may not choo, have choo. it may not have brakes on it. No brakes, all gas, no brakes. So we we no, get there, full gas, baby. Um, we get to the taco place about five minutes from their house, not even. Um, and he gets out of the car, and he he's like holding up his phone, and I'm like, "What are you doing? Like, why are you holding up your phone? Fo- like, are you trying to show me? Hey, I've got oh, my phone. Gosh. Yeah, no, you no. Know, he's like." You see this? I was like, yes. He's like, I left it on the roof. I'm like, what are you talking (laughs) about? He's like, my phone was on the roof when we got here. I was like, so let me get this straight. So you left your phone on the roof of the car, and we drove five minutes down the road, (laughs) two miles, to the taco place, and the phone stayed on the the roof of the car, you know, he says, I'm a pretty good driver, aren't I? I was like, that, that has nothing to do with the fact that you left your phone on what the drive. What do we, dr- <laughs> what do we think the maximum speed you guys hit was on this drive? I mean, it, it, it couldn't have been, like, more than 35 miles an hour. Okay. Which is still pretty darn fast. Yeah, it's I mean, still enough to, you know, that whatever case he has on his phone must be grippy enough to keep that thing, you know, secured to the roof of the car. Yeah. That's um, impressive. It is impressive, but it it reminded me of another thing that I used to do. I don't know if I ever told you about this, but um, 
I so when we were younger, I I lived an interesting childhood, um, as you can imagine, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So I uh, I watched a lot of YouTube videos, and I used to watch sure. this guy named St- Steve Spangler. Do you know about Steve Spangler? I he's do science, not know. Scientist. He's no. like he's like Bill Nye. He's a science guy. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Steve Spangler was on Ellen and all this stuff, and he had a YouTube channel. Okay. And I watched this one video where he he t- had a cup, like a a drink cup from you know a restaurant. Sure. And he would put a magnet in the cup. He put a magnet in the cup. Okay. And put the cup on top of the roof of the car. <laughs> and so then he would drive around yeah. with this magnet in the cup on the yeah. roof. And I was like, this is, you know, the greatest thing I've ever seen. This is the eighth <laughs> wonder of the world. That you know? is pretty good. That is pretty good. Or the ninth wonder of the world or whatever. Yeah. You, whatever. However many wonders of the world it is. This is the greatest thing ever. Yeah. And so I I should have had them I should have had them come on today. So but me and my friend um Mike would go, um, we would go and put put the cup on the roof, yeah. And we would just drive around. I mean, this is middle <laughs> of summer. This is fa- some of the greatest reactions. Oh, I that I've imagine. ever seen. Yeah, came that summer when we would drive around with the cup on the roof. Because <laughs> if you think about it, what are you going to do? You see someone driving around with a cup on the roof. Yeah. I mean, you're driving with the windows up, so you have to somehow convey to them. Yeah, that the cup is on the roof, and yeah. so there was a lot of there was a lot of pointing up, and and I mean it was so hard it was so hard for That's me to incredible, but you you had to be an actor right yeah. you really had to be an actor because yeah you you had to pretend that you didn't know what they were talking about yeah so you looked at these people like they're nuts like they were crazy yeah <laughs> they're dancing around <laughs> you know pointing at the sky and I'm it like oh yeah raise the roof good buddy what's yeah. going on here you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, this really is a good song. That's fantastic. I I want it, to do that now. It is That's it, so incredible. you got to get neodymium magnet. That's the key. Sure. Right? Get it on top of the roof, the car. You ha- you really can only go around in like subdivisions. So you have to pick a nice night, uh, yeah. uh, like a Friday night or Saturday night where everyone's outside. Yeah. Um, we drove by. Uh, we drove by. Uh, I want to say it was a wedding. I remember it being a wedding in <laughs> someone's yard. I don't. I don't know if the, they were actually getting married or oh, if it was that's like a great. like a backyard ceremony or something. Yeah. But, I mean, driving by groups of people. Yeah. I mean. Th- I, you know they're still talking about that. Hey, remember at our wedding when yeah. someone drove by with a cup on the roof? <laughs> That's incredible. Um, the, the, you, you brought and, up the magnets, which I found interesting. I wonder if what what phone does your dad have? Uh, he has an iPhone. An iPhone like like a, a recent iPhone, a newer iPhone. Yeah, like I a, like a if, thirteen. Yeah, because they have the MagSafe in the iPhones now with the magnets on it. I wonder if the phone just like magnetically attached to the car, and that's why it didn't move. <laughs> I honestly think it was the case. The case was pretty ru- grippy. Sure. And it had like, there was like a, an, uh, a lip. Like, okay. Uh, like, I, I guess it's not really a lip. It's kind of like a fin, like where the door closes. There's like a little ridge. Oh, um, I got gotcha. kind of It's like a little indent. Yep, yep. And that, it had gone into that little indent uh, and then the okay. rubber on the, the case. Yeah. I wonder um, if it was like a combination of the two to keep the phone put. That would be incredible though. Maybe you, I mean, you, you you should go out to the car, grab your dad's phone, and try to recreate the placement to see if it was magnetized at all. Because I'm very curious about that now. Now that you brought that up, well, I mean, MythBusters, we should just see how like how fast we can go with, with it on the roof before yeah. it flies off. Yeah, you know, that's. I mean, right there is a great sign. Another, st- we'll call up Steve Spangler. Yeah, get Steve and, on the and line and get him to test that. Uh, yeah, Steve Spangler, if you're watching, I was watching <laughs> you, good buddy. All right. <laughs> Oh um, man, that's great! But uh, yeah, that just prompted that whole oh that uh, is that is incredible bucket of memories being poured all over the place. Yeah, that's uh, good. This past week, so. that's good. Well, so um, speaking of the past week, I had some adventures <laughs> this past week. Uh, Hashtag great segue. I did some selling on Facebook Marketplace. Ooh, okay. I put there you on go. I put on my businessman cap, uh, and I did some selling. Um, Your businessman cap? Do you yeah, have a, I, I, do you have a, a captain hat or something? Uh, oh, no, I it's, my captain hat. It's actually like a. It's more like a top hat. Um, you I'm, do not have a top hat. I do not have a top hat, but oh. I, you know, um, I can see you wearing a top hat. You you like the bow ties? The top hat goes right with it. Yeah, I don't know if I could do uh, if I could do a, a, a top <laughs> you hat. You could pull personally. off a top hat. They're, they're, oh, they're, you could absolutely pull off a top hat. Mm, 
I don't know. You should search on Facebook Marketplace and see if you can buy a oh, top hat. Oh God. Um, yeah, so I think this was this was Friday night, last Friday, so I, uh, okay. a, a week prior to this episode going out. Uh, I had right. recently listed a couple things on Facebook Marketplace. I listed uh, an old set of golf clubs I had because I recently got a new set. I wanted to sell off those and an old mm-hmm. laptop that I had. And somehow, like, I had listed this laptop like five months ago and got like no one that wanted to buy it. And I listed it, I think I listed it like last Wednesday, and I got a hit for it on Saturday, which was fantastic so wow i ended up uh arranging a meetup with someone for the golf clubs and the laptop two different people the same night which was great too oh yeah i thought you were gonna say the same guy he I no, mean, you yeah, know that would be great if it was the same guy so the first guy i met up for the golf clubs at five went great and i get back and i <laughs> i open up my laptop to make sure that it's like good to go that it's reset okay open it up first of all the battery is dead Okay, and I'm supposed to meet this guy in a half hour, and the battery is dead. Mm. And mm. it turns on, and the laptop has magically like reset itself. I don't really know how. Okay. Yeah. Reset so, like, itself. How so? So like back in, I think this was back in October. I like reset Windows to get like a clean setup. You know, like get back to like where you choose your language and all that stuff. You know. Right. And I right. turned the laptop on, and it is suddenly just going straight to the desktop, and I have no idea how it happened. It's like still logged into my account and everything. I have no idea. Oh my. Yeah. So I have to message this guy. And I'm like, hey, like, give me another hour to figure this out because I don't know how long like it retakes. It takes to reset a Windows machine. Right. So, long story short, ended up meeting this guy around 6.30. You know, he liked mm-hmm. the laptop, gave me the money. And I don't know about you, but when I do stuff on Facebook Marketplace, even if it's for smaller, uh, you know, a- a- amounts of cash, you know, I-, I I sold the golf clubs for 60 and the laptop for 150 Even for smaller amounts of cash, I am paranoid about getting counterfeit money. What? Yeah, I don't know about you. It's just like one of those things. I know that the chances are incredibly slim, but it's always in the back of my mind. I mean, like, what is this you? like, Dude, I don't know. Maybe you, it's just me. Who are you me? selling to? The Monopoly man? Like, we no, you're showing you up know. with some, some yeah. Monopoly money? Or so, what's going on here? So I made my second sale, and I scurried my <laughs> butt over to the ATM to put Stop, this, dude. to get this cash in the bank, because I wanted to make sure that it was legit, you know? Dude, and it was, so what? we were good, you know? That that's a tad bit irrational, if I do say so it, myself. You know, it probably <laughs> is, but I don't sell a lot on Facebook Marketplace. You know, whatever. But I thought, uh, you know, in in my in my selling of these items, I also stumbled upon uh, two very interesting items that people are selling on Facebook Marketplace in my area that I thought was hilarious. Um, the one that I found a couple nights ago that I unfortunately did not save uh, nor have a link to. Um, someone Slacker. someone is selling a trash bin. Okay, mm-hmm. like it's like right. a like like an old style metal trash can, uh, but the mm-hmm. first picture is this guy like crouched next to it, like hugging the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw this. I'm like, I don't know why this guy is hugging this trash can, but he is. You know, it didn't make me want to buy it more, but maybe it will. Um, so that was the first one. And then this <laughs> other one that I found, I I think this could be something that we could go halvesies on. Okay. Um, I found I like someone that. that is selling eight sets of retro bowling alley chairs for fifty dollars a piece. Four <laughs> chairs. Look at that. We can get this for fifty dollars. Hey, there we go. There are two wow. orange sets and six blue. I don't know how you get eight sets of retro bowling alley chairs. Well, one has to assume they came out of a bowling alley. They would, but I don't know how they got into this person's possession, nor why you would turn to Facebook Marketplace to possibly try to sell them. Dude, you can buy you can, people try and sell everything and anything. I, they, I tell you what, they really do. You know, if you got it, you know, if it's something, you know, it's probably trying to be sold somewhere. You know, I yeah. I, I will agree with that. You know. Um, let me see if there's any, you know, let, let me just do a, a quick refresh of my, you know, Facebook marketplace and see if there's anything good. Uh, here's an engagement ring. Um, what? I can only imagine what, uh, what happened there. Nope. That's um, a, yeah. yeah, that's, Lisa, that's not great. It's like people who donate their wedding dress to Goodwill after the divorce. It's like, oh yeah, that's, ooh, that's just, just tough ooh, scenes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, here's um, someone. Oh, this is good. I think we could, we could have some fun with this, Logan. Uh, this okay. is a set of ten commercial inflatable bumper balls for six hundred dollars. Six hundred bumper? What? 
Yeah. Bumper did, balls. Did you know what I'm talking about? Like those things that they're these, uh, yeah, these inflatable I mean, I ones I'm... with the harness on the inside. Why are they so expensive? Well, there's $600. ten of them. That's only sixty per ball, which isn't terrible. This person <laughs> says that they bought them for the sixteenth birthday party, but they have just sat in the basement since, and we figured we could use the extra room. Also, like, why <laughs> is it something you are buying and not just like renting or just going yeah. somewhere that has these? You know? Yeah. Well, I feel like that's a, like a baseball. I feel like that's something I, w- I would see it like a, in between innings at a baseball game or something. Oh, yeah. You know, the, like the, the one team I worked around. for did have those. Yeah. And, and, and we had them last year. Yeah. Oh, no. The ones we had last year were ones that you would get fully in and you would run like you were a hamster in, in a wheel. <laughs> so, so those were pretty fun. Um, Dude, people, I, I've just looked on my Facebook marketplace. This guy is selling something that he labeled as, I'm going to paraphrase this, cool stuff. <laughs> he just he just he 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 just called call the cool stuff. Cool but stuff. But I would like to I would like to draw your attention to this photo. Oh gosh, of what this cool stuff is. What is so that? it's a it's basically a park oh, like a... bench with <laughs> with some giant plastic wheels it on it. It looks like it could like float on water. And I think that's what it is. But I, let, let, let me keep this keep the, uh, tell you this. This is the first thing that popped up on my Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Granted. You know, I see some pretty interesting things in my Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. For example, a standing grizzly bear for forty seven hundred dollars. Okay, I just found, um, you, you mentioned wedding dresses. I found a wedding dress up for sale, four hundred dollars, brand new. Tags are still on. Here's someone ooh, selling a nineteen ninety Ford uh, RV for twenty five hundred. Should I buy this thing and go on a road trip across the country? It'd be like regular Breaking Bad over here. And call that you thing's Jesse Bankman. Okay. That thing's pretty sick, actually. Okay, I could get behind having a you know a a, a trailer like that. Um, well, as well, yeah, I think so. I, I don't. I, my I dad don't know always parking. But... My dad really like has this weird dream. Oh, to gosh. one day buy an RV and okay. tow it around the country in it and go to all the uh, NHL ice rinks. Oh, um, okay. And uh, live in uh, the RV. Oh, yeah. here, here we go. Here's a free harp, a pedal harp <laughs> giveaway for free. Look that, at that. You need to get the free pedal harp. I know. Well, I, I, I instruments. I have a weird thing about instruments. Yeah. I, I wanted. I've always wanted to learn how to play all instruments. Yeah. So there was a there was a time where I was looking at um, accordions and okay. uh, bagpipes, and uh, I even I even considered buying a didgeridoo on yeah. Facebook oh, Marketplace. That was actual. That was actually a thing that I almost Jeez. did, but <laughs> I restrained myself because I said, Logan, what do you need a didgeridoo for? And I said, "Well, you know, because it's it's awesome. Um, I could play. Could you? But imagine oh, this, gosh. We just moved into this house. Yeah. And I go riding down the street on my unicycle. Oh, I know where this is going. While, Your neighbors would hate you. While playing my didgeridoo. Now they're gonna first of all think, what's wrong with this person? Yeah, uh, absolutely. <laughs> where did they just escape from? Okay, yep. they've got yeah. going somewhere here. You do live relatively but, close to a prison, so. Well, I mean, we could, but." I guarantee I'll be the the talking of the town, the talk of the town, right? Talk of the town. Not not be, for good uh, reasons, but you'll be the talk of the town. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you know. don't know. I'll, I'll appear on the ring app, strange man riding unicycle playing didgeridoo. They down say my all street. press is good press, you know. I mean, there's no such thing as bad press, my yes. friend. And as you said, um, you know, didgeridoo. I could I could get the harp. I could sit on my um, uh, porch. Yeah, that's and, not bad. Uh, you know, um, one more thing before we move on. Yeah. Uh, one thing I have noticed with people selling things on Facebook Marketplace is it's, yeah. it's like a big, I don't know if it's a trend, if the trend is the right word, but I feel like there's a lot of um, people who will post things mm-hmm. that intentionally put themselves in the reflection of said things. Oh, so, there's a whole subreddit for that. Yeah. About people so, taking like, pictures of mirrors and having themselves in the photo of the mirror. Yes. Like, uh, it's not even just mirrors, but like I, I just saw someone put up a TV, um, yeah, it's a fifty-five inch TV, um, and they're just like in the reflection of the TV. Yeah. So why is that a thing? Like yep. I, I don't want um, nobody wants to see that. There is this whole subreddit. It's r slash mirrors for sale. 
and it is just people that found Facebook Marketplace stuff of mirrors that like here's this woman selling this cheese grater. Th- that's that, first of all, that's an iron. That's wait, not a it cheese is an iron. grater. The title says oh cheese grater, dude. <laughs> You can't believe everything you see on the internet. What can I say? <laughs> Here's a guy what? selling a guitar, and his little face is in there. Okay. <laughs> That's terrifying. Wait a second. Let me see that again. <laughs> That's terrifying. Why is his face so small? Ah! <laughs> a little That's metal nightmare plate. fuel, dude. Yeah. That's nightmare fuel. I, 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 I do want to point out. Oh, my gosh. I, I, you got to have... watch the video version of this podcast, first of all, so you can yes, see what Reed just showed me. I, you I, could I, also experience my nightmares. I, I do want to point out one more good thing that I found on Facebook Marketplace. This is something okay. that would be great for a friend of mine who loves Twisted Tea. I don't know if you're a big Twisted Tea guy. No. No? Okay. I'm really not either. Don't like tea. This, But this is Twisted Tea, okay? It, it's alcoholic. Mm. Have you never had Twisted Tea before? No. Okay. Well, this is a <laughs> Twisted Tea snowsuit. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> look at that oh thing. Oh, my. That is incredible. They look it like, says, that looks like a giant banana. It says, keep it twisty. Stop it. It does is, not. Yes, Where it does. Where say that? Is In, that the name? It says... Is it, that the name? It says keep it twisty on the suit. Like there it is on the leg. Oh, keep, keep it my twisty. Gosh. Yeah. Dude. This thing is only Come on, Google Maps. Come on, load up. I I'm, I'm trying to see how far away this thing is. They're asking $300 for it. Never used though. The person's in it. What do you mean never used? Well, never used like on the mountain, you know? No. No, I don't. Like you, you've never used it to ski. Oh. Well, this place that it is in is, I was over three hours away. I don't know if the Twisted Tea suit is worth traveling three hours for. No, it's yeah. probably not. Real real quick, but, do you have anything good that you found on Facebook Marketplace and bought? Like any good deals that you've got on anything? Because I have one good deal uh, that. Well, I'm in the process of, of, of getting something now that is podcast related but yes that deal supposedly is going to go down tomorrow so okay that's I guess good we'll have, to, we'll have to wait on that and i'll explain maybe next week how that's that fair. deal went that's fair the, then give an update the, the one thing i can think of is my current golf bag that i got okay so I oh was, yeah so i i was looking for you know a new golf bag because my previous one was pretty bad and i you're I, what I, my, my previous one was pretty bad you're, but but what did, what did my, you get my golf of? bag your what B- bag? Bag? Golf bag. bag. There bag? you go. Okay, Welcome to the Midwest, my friend. All right, continue. So I was looking for a new golf club holding apparatus because uh, my previous <laughs> one kind of sucks. So I, Golf club receptacle. In I my, prefer that. In, in my classic readness, I over-researched the crap out of what you know apparatus mm. I should buy. and I. Well, that's not a – but that's not a bad quality. That's why every that's time true. I want to buy something, I consult you first. <laughs> that's true. I know you, I, you over-research the heck I, out of everything. Oh, I absolutely do. So I found this There's one. There's nothing wrong with that. I found this one type of bag that I bag that I was set on bag. getting. This one bag. apparatus that I was set on getting. But retail, it was like two forty, which was a lot. That's a lot of. You know, that's a, a lot, lot of money. money. You know, it's it's pretty it's pretty par for the course. Pardon pardon the pun for for <laughs> for, for a golf <laughs> bag. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> And I find a guy on Facebook Marketplace selling this exact model I want, different color, but I really didn't care, used for only one season for $75. Wow. Okay? The only hitch is that it is two hours is that away. It's <laughs> two hours away, hot pink with blue accents. No, yeah, it's, it's two hours it's away. It's one real... Blue and gray. Not my favorite. I'm not a big blue person. I don't know about you, but blue's not my favorite color. It's very boring to me. But mm, I just so happen to have a friend that lives in said city where this golf bag is, okay? Right, So right. I, I text him. I'm like, hey, would you be willing to broker this Facebook Marketplace deal on my behalf, buy the bag, and then we meet in the midway? And I thought for sure he was going to give me a lot of crap for it, but he's like, yeah, I can do that. I'm like, sweet. So it was like three days later. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, any updates on Facebook? And he sends me a photo of it in, in the trunk of his car. He's like, just picked it up. I'm like, this is sick. So I met him halfway through, got the bag, sent him the money, and you know, I've been using it ever since, and it's been fantastic. And that's like, that is my crown jewel Facebook Marketplace story. Dude, some fr- you got those friends, man. I, I first of all, I don't have any friends like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll call you up and be like, hey, uh, I need you to. <laughs> 
<laughs> get me a golf bag. Yeah, and, if, if uh, you find anything out in Pennsylvania, I can just ship it out hours. to you. Well, no, no, no. We would have to drive and meet in the middle. So you, okay, we, we could drive 16 We could hours. meet on the border of Ohio and Indiana, and that would be close enough. You know, there's probably nothing yeah. there, but. Well, you know, probably not. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to move on to odd news before we uh, move on. We do. And be too long um what that didn't make any sense but uh all right That's well okay close enough uh you went first last time so i'm gonna go first this time this time no we got another animal story oh lord um of some some animal craziness here I, I alligator was, was a list of stories a lot lot oh, of boy. animal stories that, that this week, well that, i mean i think option. this this website upi um they really is like all about... their animals and their records yeah so that's why we have so many animals and record yeah. stories but uh, alligator was placed under arrest <laughs> at a 104-year-old Florida woman's home. I did now, see this one. This is great. Uh, a five-foot alligator was, quote-unquote, placed under arrest at the home of a 104-year-old Florida woman who complained about the animal's presence on her property. So this was down in Jacksonville, and the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office said on social media that two officers have, quote, Quite the tale to tell. Yeah. Responding to the nuisance gator at the 104 year old woman's oh home gosh. near Atlantic Boulevard and blah, blah, blah. Uh, the officers enlisted help of licensed trapper Mike to secure the reptile. Shout out, Mike. Um, Did you purposely yeah. leave out his last name because you didn't know how to say it? No. Because <laughs> I don't know how to say it either. <laughs> and. Um, I was I was trying to look up. Um, there was a guy in Chicago who um, somebody put a, a alligator in one of the ponds um, in Humboldt Park in Chicago. Oh. Did you ever hear, hear about no. this back in 2019? No. Oh, dude, Trapper Frank Frank Rob <laughs> is the guy um, who caught the turtle. You want to know, or not the turtle? The, the um, alligator. Alligator. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do you want to know the alligator's name? What? Chance the snapper. That's good. That's good. That <laughs> that is a quality that is good. alligator. That name. is good. Yeah. But that's all that that story reminded me of was Chance the snapper getting rescued from a park in uh, Chicago. That's incredible. Uh, back in 2019. That's incredible. So, well, there's your daily dose of odd news good. from Logan. My my odd news. You remember back in you know maybe in high school or middle school? Uh, did, did, were, were you a big like bring your own lunch kind of kid, or were you going through the lunch line every day? Dude, I was a big Lunchables guy. Okay. I had a, a Lunchables every every. Did day. your parents ever send you to school with like those small like clementine oranges? No, no but I, I wasn't a big fruit okay, guy. But but can we both agree that those things are a pain to peel? Yeah, yeah, I can agree with okay. that, especially with my lack of fingernails. Correct, agreed. They suck to peel. Okay. But there has recently been an 11-year-old boy from York, England, who broke a Guinness World Record by peeling four of them in one minute. Wow. So there was a radio station. They asked uh, young listeners of this breakfast show to come up with new world record categories to be attempted on air. So they selected the record of most mandarins peeled in one minute by someone under the age of 16. <laughs> I think they just... Man, I'm pretty hmm. sure they just made this new record category up. <laughs> but, but I think that's how. Isn't that how new world records are? It must found, be. Though? Yeah, like, people just make I, them yeah, up. Yeah, I guess so. Like someone needs to do it first. So why not be this kid? Okay. So this kid was selected by a you know field of applicants to be the first one to attempt this new record, uh, and his mom said hmm. that you know he's obsessed with these things and he find they find the peels everywhere across the house. So. Uh, they also said that uh, he managed to get nearly eight mandarins during his practice runs. Uh, but then, you know, camera was on, lights were on, the pressure got to him. He could only get four on his on-air attempt, and it took him three tries to get this. Uh, but he, he got oh. the four, and there was an official adjudicator there from Guinness. And this kid was given the title Master Peeler from the radio host. <laughs> and there is a video of him <laughs> peeling these oranges. And I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. He takes about 15 seconds per each. Uh, I have no idea how he did eight because that's less than 10 seconds per orange. That's in ridiculously impressive. Um, but now this kid is the master peeler, you know. And his his mother says it was amazing, and they described it as a nail biting attempt. 
I actually, I just resort to eating it with the peel on. Oh, you're I just a take a bite man. out of it and then spit the peel you're, out. You're a yeah, because I'm just, I'm far too lazy. Do you just take a bite out of bananas to, like that too? I do. Oh, yeah. Gosh. You're actually, I peel bananas upside down because that's how monkeys do, peel them. Oh, I, I and do that too. That actually makes sense because they're easier to peel. Yeah. 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 I was told by uh, my grandfather who travels down to Florida. He's like, you know, monkeys peel <laughs> bananas upside down, and I was like. Oh, okay. Well, to them, it's Hi, right side I up. I haven't seen you. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess. I don't know. Well, if they're hanging upside down, I guess. Yeah, they're all discombobulated. And if yeah. they peel it upside down, then it's right side up. But if you're peeling upside down, then are you upside down? And then there's no strings. But the strings are right side up, upside down? I don't know. I'm, I'm frying my brain there. I can't I can't take it. Yeah. The next time I peel a banana, oh, I will yeah. I will report back. Maybe I'll, I'll hang myself upside mm-hmm. down. You know, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't really have the body strength to do that. Um, but right. I will, I will try and I will report back. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, from the, uh, upside down, this has been basement yeah. birds episode number 13. Lucky number 13. Lucky number 13. Oh so, yeah. Uh, and we're on all sorts of social media platforms. You sure keep up and see all the wonderful things that I get to do with my dad <laughs> when I see him because it's, a, it's almost a weekly occurrence yep. with him with, with when he does some crazy yep. stuff. So you want to make sure to follow us on the social media platforms yes. that Reed will tell you Instagram, about right now. TikTok, and YouTube at Basement Birds. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. boom. All right. Lucky number 13. We'll catch you on the next one.